folks here at the Barbasol, they are all prepared for what is to come and they have actually they bring in their own meteorologists yes they could be using us but the PGA actually has their own group of folks as well to help them stay informed I found a guy that you could definitely hang out with <laughs> you could definitely spend some a, time a little stuff. golf a little weather yeah a little golf a lot of weather yeah. no doubt about that well Bill as you mentioned as perfect as it is today uh, that's how bad it could get here overnight into tomorrow morning and, and on and off through the weekend. Take a look at this gadget. You would like this as well Bill. This is uh, a gadget that measures electric charges in the atmosphere basically lightning and it could get a workout tomorrow afternoon as strong storms as bill alluded to are expected inside the on-site meteorology trailer the first band of bad weather is already in sight on the radar and it is diving south and east towards central kentucky and once that moves through tomorrow the news doesn't exactly get much better unfortunately the weekend does look very wet um, it won't be raining the entire time but uh, it most favors during the afternoon and evening hours for saturday and sunday with showers and thunderstorms. As we get into Sunday, it may actually be a little bit more stable, but we keep the wet weather. Instead of playing twosomes after the cut, they'll play threesomes. That'll speed play up to, to get to the final round. Make sure we're caught up before Sunday. And we're back live outside the clubhouse at the Barbers Hall Championship at King Trace. And some of the other options include moving tea times up to the dawn hour, possibly tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday if necessary. Uh, they could also um, play on Monday. That day is available to them before these guys have to move on to their next PGA Tour site. Uh, they could also play on Monday and still shorten this thing to 54 holes, three rounds, rather than the uh, allotted four rounds, 72 holes. We'll see how it all plays out. But they do believe they'll be playing golf for large chunks of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It just might mean that we have to play a little bit on Monday to finish this thing and make it a full 72 holes. Let's send it over now to the practice putting green. Keith and Angie are over there.